Hello friends and welcome to this Crazy Talk 7 Pro video tutorial on importing multi-audio and different out emotions. So to start off, I need to choose an actor. So I will go into my content manager and I will double click on one. Now I need a voice script. So I'll just go into my practice audio folder here. Remember, you can always use the toolbar and record your own voice or open a previously recorded file if you wish to. So just to make this quick, I will choose casual scene here. And now I will choose a talk mode. Okay. Great. So if I open the timeline here, you will see that now that we have our, our track right there. So the difference between the pro, the pro version of Crazy Talk 7 and the standard version is that in the standard, we only have one track that covers the entire project. In the pro version, I can have multi audio tracks here. So another thing I could do here is I can cut or break or delete certain sections of my track. So let me show you. Here, I wish to cut my audio at this point. Just when he finished singing that first uh, tune. Right there. So I can do this both ways. I can actually right click on top of the track and this will prompt a little menu or I can activate it over here with the functions option. Okay. And I can break and now I can delete the second part. Okay. I also have the facility of stretching or compressing my track. So if I wish to make it slower, I can stretch this a bit. Oh, wait, give me a second here. Uh, I, I want to show you one, th one other thing. I can actually copy and paste this. Okay. And I can have my sa the same track repeat over and over again. Or I can actually use the loop function. So here with the loop function, I can grab this end and I can stretch it and I'm looping. Okay. The same track over and over again. Um, I can undo this and I can activate the speed function. And this will allow me to stretch the, the, the track, which will make it sound slower. Okay. Or I can compress it to make it sound faster. Okay, so let me undo that and make sure we're at the original tempo. Da, 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 da. Great. Okay, so that's down. So you'll notice down here at the bottom at the, at the motion track, the auto motion track, we have by default a talk mode. Because when we clicked on that script, that's the option we chose. So now I will choose another um, uh, track here called store chime. And I will move my time script forward. That's where I want it to start. I will double click on it and I will choose a listen mode. Okay. And if we zoom in, you'll see down here in the auto motion track, it says listen mode. Great. So we have a talk mode and a listen mode. And let me go back out. And now I want to bring in a store announcement. So the story I'm trying to create here is that my character is in a store. He's, he's singing a song and he hears an announcement and uh, he's excited and he wants to take action on that sale that he hears through the speakerphone, through the, through the loudspeakers. So let's do this. And again, we will put another listen mode. Attention our mart shoppers. Okay. And you can tell we have a default by default. We have a listen mode because that's the one we chose. And to top it off, we will add a charge attack file that I have here. Okay. So this one, it sounds like he's excited and he wants to go after those, those sales on black Friday. So let's do that right there. And I will choose a talk mode. Let's do this. Leroy Jenkins. Okay. So we have a talk mode. We have a listen mode, a listen mode again, and then a talk mode at the end. Great. 
So besides adding your own uh, audio files and being able to, 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 to play around with them and customize them, what can we do? Well, we can also introduce uh, their own specific auto motions. So again, we have the functional folder, scenario, and idle. So in functional, you can choose anything that you feel might work with your, with your audio file and also scenario, scenario or idle. Um, one more thing before I forget. Here, I added four audio tracks. And I, by default, I know that in Crazy Talk 7, when you open a project, the length of your project will be, I think, a minute and six seconds. And we can figure that out here. Okay. See, by default, we have 2,000 frames. So if I move the time scrub all the way to the end, you'll see that I have a minute and six. This is what we have by default. But if you, you calculate that your project will be longer than that, then you can expand it. So the maximum we can reach, if I put 9,999 frames, this will be about five minutes and 33 seconds. Okay, so this is actually a very long time when you're creating an animation. Um, in one take because you have your facial animation, you have your motion clips, your auto motion, your templates, and this is a lot of keyframes and information that you'll have in the timeline. So five minutes and 33 seconds is actually a lot and I doubt we'll ever want to, to use that. So here, right there, that's where our project ends. I will move this triangle to fit the end of my project like that. Okay, great. So we were, now we were talking about um, the auto motions. I want to add my own. So I know what I want to add. I want to go into scenario and talk. Because remember the first one, he's just singing there, um, the casual singing. So, oh, he's singing, right? I'm sorry, not talk. I need to go to sing. And we can choose any one of these. So let's play around. Let's see, um, I could try hip hop. I love to use this one. It doesn't match it. Let's try headbanging. I know it's not going to match, but just for for laughs. <laughs> okay, let's choose happy tune. This is the one I want to use. So I can drop it into this specific audio track. Looks great. Now for the store chime, I actually like the reaction that he has, this listen mode. Um, and I like to leave it like that. Okay, so we're going to leave that one there. For the store announcement, I want to use a, a, another reaction. Uh, it's an auto motion. We go back out and we have a reaction folder. So remember, when we chose the, the audio script, we had a little menu that popped up, and I can choose a talk mode or a listen mode. So when you choose a listen mode, we're basically setting in a reaction mode. So once again, the auto motion reactions are the same as listen modes, okay? And here, I wish to choose interested. I'm just gonna drop it onto this one. Attention, our Mart shoppers. We have special deals on aisle five. Special deals on aisle five. Great. And the last one is the charge attack. So I want him to, to, to look excited. So I will go back out scenario and I will, I'll go to talk and I have a shouting, shouting out of motion here. Let's see, where are we? Here we go, this one. And I'll just drag and drop that inside. Let's do this. Leroy Jenkins! Great. Okay. Uh, now, another thing I'd like to show you is that when... Uh, oh, by the way, if you see down here in the auto motion track, you can see all the names of the motion templates that we chose. Happy Tune, we have the default listen, Interested, and Shouting. Okay? Um, so, we have... If you, if you see in between, we have these little gaps and we have no animation because the auto motion is just following the voice track. So if I play this, you'll see that he has an animation and then he goes blank and then he continues the other animation. Okay, so that doesn't look natural. What we can do is the following. We can actually fill in those gaps with idle motions. So we can go back out here and we have a folder for idle. I'll double click on it and we can find one in here. 
So I like, I want to use friendly, but let's see what the other ones look like. I can drop this in. Remember, it has to be in the middle here. I can drop in on my, on my voice track, but I want to use them in the gaps. Okay, so I can, let me go back. And you can see he'll he'll get sad when, when when the time scrub moves there. Okay, so that's not what I need. I want friendly. So I will use friendly there. Move that back again. Okay, and I'll do the same for all the rest. I'll just drop in friendly. And the same for the last one. Now, as you notice, I can actually move my, my voice tracks here and the idle motion will always compensate, will always try to fit itself in. And even if I overlap one uh, voice track over another, um, we'll, we're still going to see the idle motion in the, in the background. Uh, technically, we'll, we'll, see there, we'll see it there, but we will not see it in the animation. Okay, so I, as I mentioned, I can overlap these to make them to make the animations and the voice um, smoother. And just one, one note, here we see that we have the ending of the first audio track right there. So I can overlap mine and I can do this. But remember that the original track finished over here. So even though this second audio track is overlapping it and we don't see anything here, we will still hear that voice track all the way till the end. So take note of that, okay? So I will move this right over there. I want him to, I want the store chime to interrupt his singing. Then I'll move the store announcement right there, okay? And we're gonna finish off with a charge attack. I'll leave a, leave a little space in between. So let's try this. Attention, our marked shoppers. We have special deals on aisle five. Special deals on aisle five. Let's do this. Leroy Jenkins! Okay, that looks pretty good. Obviously, at the end, you can also add your own uh, puppeteering uh, clips if you'd like to. So you can go up to the top toolbar and use the face puppet tool to create your own. Or you can go to the content manager here, motion clip. I have one that I saved in the customs folder and you can simply drag and drop this wherever you need it. Okay. So let's see the final project. Attention our marked shoppers. We have special deals on aisle five. Special deals on aisle five. Let's do this. Leroy Jenkins! And there you go. And that's how easy it is to use the new multi-audio functions and automotions in Crazy Talk 7 Pro. Thank you.